Hey guys, this is Battalion Clash Game here to showcase to you guys our victory over our uh, oops over this last uh, war against uh, bad gamers. They're not a bad clan; they're actually pretty good, and their base is actually so hard to actually three star. Uh, as you can see, we struggle on their bases. Uh, majority of their base are actually pretty good. Uh, see this guy right here is like missed two times. You know, we're able to clean up their base because we're able to analyze what's going on. Uh, with their bases, um, we're glad that we have enough like uh, three star attackers in our clan. Like Darth right here, he got a six pack. It's like thumbs up to him. Uh, he's always do performing well. Uh, Zombie also and Cena. These are these guys are like our, our top attackers. Uh, uh, Liko wasn't me. He's also is like a good attacker, but we have to have him step up on the tunnel eight. He's a new tunnel eight. If you can see, he's a uh, tunnel seven troops, but he's also a good attacker. Uh, he was able to pull a uh, sixty one percent. Uh, he's new to the tunnel eight, so it's like a big step. And so is Scotty. He's also a new tunnel eight, so it's kind of like a struggle for him, uh, being stepping up to the tunnel eight level. But once you get used to it, it's kind of like this guy's like here, Dark Zombie and uh, Cena. You know, they're actually always doing good. I'm gonna show you guys his attacks. It's like uh, tunnel seven attacks. Um, I think dragon attacks is like what we did in this one. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Alright, so this one right here, <coughs> show you guys, it's like when you do a, create a base for a tunnel 7, uh, you don't want to have this that close together. You want them to be in a triangle position, and you want your clan castle somewhere to actually be uh, hard to pull. And you might want to have like uh, defenses in front of this, and store like this one right here, he does have storages protecting his air defense, and this one he has like two, and he's probably got the loons in there. see there you go and the loot is actually to target the air defense if you can uh, somehow navigate that to actually get in there even though this air sweeper is there they would actually overpower the air defense it's even worse for having air defense to be like both sides like this type of base Not really going to show you guys some tunnel nine attack because of the it was a dip attack. It was like way overpowered. Uh, we failed on their uh, tunnel nine, which is rarely happening. But uh, yeah, and this one right here is actually a popular base. This is actually a good design. If the attacker doesn't know what he's doing, he won't be able to uh, actually three star this base because the air defense is so far apart. And then you got the storage just like protecting them, and you got this archer towers. Like, uh, you know, for the dragons, actually, you have a struggle with. I think if you have the right uh, clan castle troops, this base will be really hard to 3-star. The problem is, he's got, like, uh, I think he had the wizards in there. You see how he deployed? He waited for the balloons, for the for the air defense to target the dragon. And then he waited on the backside for the his main balloon to actually target the air defense. He got the... Uh, one shot that's one thing to keep actually attacking the base you don't want to attack at front side because this base is actually tricky to attack okay uh, i think i got one more tunnel seven attack like uh <coughs> yeah this one right here is like super easy this one is a giant healer hog combo and if you see the base like this there's no gap and you don't see any gaps like uh for spring traps or double giant bomb or giant bomb uh, it's actually good to actually attack us with the hogs as you can see it's only have level 1 hogs and with the buff of the the hog not really a buff but more like a nerf of the giant bomb for the hogs the hog is able to attach it actually attack the space uh, the easily now because of the hogs are so powerful and then you have a level 6 hogs in there you can actually make this hogs all you need is actually all this level 6 hogs uh, they can actually last pretty long if you know how to drop your uh, He'll spell right so you can see majority of the level one hogs are already dead except for this level six hogs now we're gonna go to this uh 
mm, level the uh, tile eight attack. This was actually a really good attack. Uh, this one right here. It was a tark. This is a cleanup attack, and it was a tark attack by darks. Uh, also using a go a go box. Go box is pretty much uh tricky to actually use this. See, he did a perfect lure, and this one right here. See how the giants. I mean the golem is being chased by them, and then you got the wizards killing the dragon. There is another way to actually kill a dragon, much easier way, but it's more complex to actually execute. Maybe in the next war, uh, I'll show it to you guys. It's like how to do that. I don't know if they have the dragon in, uh, on the clan castle. They, if the enemy would put a dragon in a clan castle, but you know. If they, I'll, I'll try to anticipate it and I'll try to do that uh, lure and try to show it to you guys. It takes a lot of practice to actually do that. So you can see all the Valkyries are actually almost running out because the spring traps are actually set up right. <clears throat> if you got six spring traps and, bo and they're like maxed out and they can spring out like two Valkyries, it's going to be deadly against the Valkyrie attack. Because you lose 12 Valkyries and you have uh, 13 plus 4 in the CC, which is 17. So you're going to be left like 4 over there. And you don't want the max Valkyries to spring out. Another attack by Darks. This one right here, he doesn't really have Hogs. But if he had Hogs, he can actually 3-star this base because he doesn't have any Spring Traps. Like, uh, you know, that could spring the Hogs or like a Giant Bomb. I think most of the giant bomb on this one is on the outside. <clears throat> Same thing. Go to the dragon. Kill with three wizards. Three to four is good. Use use the king to funnel. He could he could have gone wider with the funnel with the king. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the king is actually a uh, a good tank. And then you can use him to actually tank for your uh, wizards, so you can funnel really good. And then he can actually go in with the uh, Valkyries if he still uh, stay alive, and you can heal him pretty good. This one right here is uh, overkill. I don't even know where his uh, giant bombs are. Right there, like on the edge. This attack by the leader, and this one was also the cleanup. If this base was actually attacked three times, I think. This, their bases are actually more powerful than us as far as like Tunnel 8 goes. And they actually have a bit more better troops. But is because of these walls right here, we're able to capitalize on their uh, on their bases. As you can see, he did the white funnel. Golem on the left side, king on the right side. So you don't have to waste uh, another golem, another 30 troop space. You just use the king to actually go. See how he got healed up. And you use the wizards on the outside. You always leave like three to five wizards, so you can use them on the outside. So you can see, like right here, it helps clean up the tr the base a lot faster. And as you can see, the base got wrecked like less than two minutes, or just a little over two minutes. I hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys next time.